Final hour for the week. Overdrive continues. Brought to you by FanDuel. Bringing you everything from the opening line of the final score. Brian Hayes, the dog Jeff O'Neill. Jamie Noodles, McLennan. Big hour. Massive hour. Luke Wilson from Vegas. Timo and Wilson will connect on the show this hour. Al's brother in studio. Hayes and bro will connect in studio this hour. Picks are going to be made. Spread, total, props, coin toss, anthem, all of it on the line. And it's just going to be an amazing pig segment. I cannot wait for this. Luke will set the seam as well from Vegas where, you know, people are conflicted. What's going to happen here? Will it be the Chiefs? Will it be the Niners? Can Brock Purdy get it done? Will Mahomes continue to add to his legacy? What's Andy Reid been up to for the last two weeks? <laughs> what has you know? he been up to? What's he been up to? Andy Reid in Vegas. Um and listen, you give Andy Reid two weeks to prepare, you know his team is going to be ready to play. Yes, they will be. Um, yeah, I guess, you know, Taylor Swift is in Tokyo, I believe, tonight. Wow. And tomorrow, and then she'll be, I believe she's flying. Like, I don't know if that's been confirmed or not, but everyone anticipates we'll see Taylor Swift there oh, on Sunday there. night. A hundred, she's 100% going to be there. Has Dude, to be. Japan Japan Bird. issued a statement from the airport or whatever. Some politician said... She'll have more than enough time to get there. There was like some some release. I'm oh, like, really? What is well, going yeah. on here? Oh, I didn't know I, that. She will be the minute she finishes her concert. She'll have a pre police escort right to the airport. Bird will be up 15 minutes after, like wheels up because it, her private plane will be waiting. And Hayes, I was telling you this off air. I have a buddy who's flying down this weekend for the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. and he's got his own private plane. His private plane could not land there. Because there was a lineup of 600 planes trying to get in. So you have to go on a waiting list. So he's flying to like a suburb and then taking a helicopter in. So it seems ridiculous. like a pretty decent way to travel. Yeah. <laughs> the well, helicopter he in. I love that yeah. idea. But yeah, no, I've heard the same. And, and I, I guess that was a big topic of discussion in our house because I guess my wife had heard that uh you know the, the airport in vegas had guaranteed that taylor swift could get her plane in there right <laughs> like your it, wife talks about that stuff all like the time she... yeah so there's a lot of ta taylor swift conversations we were watching the grammys last week and she's buzzing about you know tokyo to vegas and then you know all that stuff and um yeah listen we're excited we're excited for sunday night and it's bittersweet because it's the end of the nfl season Right. And and the NFL season is the shortest season. You got seven months, basically six and a half months until you get, you know, the NFL back in action. The CFL doesn't return until the summer itself. So, yeah, this is a big weekend in Vegas. So Al's brother coming up. Luke Wilson coming up here in just a moment. We got Luke or no? No. OK. Who knows what Luke is doing in <laughs> Vegas? It's well, like, I, I can't wait to see what Luke is doing in Vegas. Don't, you don't need to go Bill O'Reilly here. Like no, you no, no. I'm just curious because I'm excited. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking over yeah. stuff. I'm excited to get this going. Well, I'm fired up, too, because I want to be neutral on this. I, I've been trying to figure out, like, from what I can gather, right? Sam Fran's the better team, but you don't bet against Mahomes and, and Reed. Basically. That's basically what and is the, that what yeah, the consensus I think, is? I right? think so. But again, the Chiefs are a great team. They won the Super Bowl a year ago. You know, they've just had inconsistencies and ups and downs, yet they're in the dance. So, you know, ultimately it doesn't matter what they did in October or November right. or, or what happened with Kadarius Tony going offside or dropping balls. Like all that kind of stuff is irrelevant now. You've, right. you've gotten through the gauntlet, and you made it there. The same thing with the Niners. Like, you reset going into the game. They didn't look great against Detroit early on. They didn't look good against Green Bay. First right. half against the Packers and the Lions, they got carved. But they found a way to win. They regroup. You get two weeks to prepare. You're back in the dance. And this smell! What the oh, Wilson wow. is cooking. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Luke Wilson and Al's brother. Wait a minute. Luke Wilson's intro... What are you doing here, JP? Al's brother? JP knows what's <coughs> up. That's what I'm talking That's about. That's disgusting. Eh? Uh, All right. Well, yeah. AB, you've already been in here, I guess, so we played it for you earlier. Luke Wilson from Vegas. Are we surviving out there, Luke? We're thriving. We're thriving. Although I will say, um, you know, it, it's just too much right now. I'm at a hotel a little bit <laughs> off the strip, which is kind of nice, but, like, we're filming our TSN hits on uh, the Cosmopolitan right on the Strip and just getting in and out right now. It is a wild Vegas scene. And the fact that there's no pool parties, you know, I'm not sure outside of Super Bowl anyone would come here during mm -hmm. this time of the year, but that's neither here nor there. 
Well, that's an interesting point, and we didn't have time to get into it with Duffy. But James joined us earlier, and he said he went to the Sphere to see you too, like a couple of nights ago, and he ran into some like someone from England or Ireland who had been preparing to come over. I'm like, why would you come during the Super Bowl? Like, yeah, you're yeah. probably timing. Yeah, well, like the timing of going to see you too while the Super Bowl is. But they're in town. almost done. Like, I think they're almost done. Their residency. Oh, like, I there's see. only they only. My understanding is they only do shows from like Wednesday to Saturday. Like Bono lives in L.A. and flies okay. in for it. And I think they're almost done the residency. I, I think they extended it. It's supposed to be. I think it might be done at the end of February. All here. right, so that might explain it. So, yeah. my apologies to the English woman that Duffy <laughs> met in the elevator a couple of days ago. Yeah, my bad on that. Um, yeah. You know, Luke, we we asked Duffy. We'll ask you like the buzz around Vegas because the buzz up here is still like Mahomes, Mahomes, Mahomes. Why isn't the line moving? Like, is that what people are saying down in Vegas? That is the general vibe, but again, I, I'm I feel a little awkward. I feel a little awkward answering that right now, Hayes, and, and I'll answer any other football <laughs> questions. But right. I know this is going, and just to let you know, just to let you know, there has been some discord between myself and Parts O Dog and Team Prez Rod. So mm. I'm interested to see how this all plays out here. So when it comes to that question, if you don't mind, I'm going to plead the fifth. All right. But if we want to talk right. about individual players, let me know. Wow, we can't even do that because we got player props, right, Else Brother? Like <laughs> we, we got them all. What are we, we got gonna, them all to we're going to ask you about like what a punter is going to do this weekend? I mean, let's. I guess we just got to get to it because Jake Booty under seven and a half points. Yeah, okay. yeah, you're on top Luke of that. Luke hates <laughs> kickers, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yes, yeah. like he hates. Kickers. I do want to say. I do want to say. I uh, was doing an event with NFL Canada. Speaking of kickers, and they were like, "Hey." I'm wearing jeans. I've got sneakers on. They're like, we want you to try and kick a field goal. And I'm like, okay, you know, not ideal situations. <laughs> now it was 30 yards with no end zone, 20 yard field goal. I stepped up. It looked ugly as you know what, but hit the upright and went in. So I'm not sure why these guys can't consistently make it. But that's, again, that. that's... maybe a chat for another day. No. That's just an old school pro athlete that knows how to get it done. Well, <laughs> that's two pro athletes connecting. All right. So yeah. all the spreads, we've got them up to this moment on FanDuel. And again, the line hasn't moved much. The total hasn't moved much. Al's brother and I, you know, we, we were a little bit, I guess, surprised, maybe disappointed. But at the same point, we probably shouldn't be right, Al's brother. Like, we're playoff performers. These guys are looking for respect in the handshake line in the playoffs. Dude, the regular don't say season that again. guys. It's such a <laughs> and, stupid comment. And <laughs> because here, here's our gripe is all week we're like, do you guys want to let us know, like, what we think we're going to be picking? Yeah. And all of a sudden, crickets. These two idiots don't say a word about who they're going to take. Are you going to take the Mahomes prop or the Purdy prop? The Kittle prop or the or the, the Kelsey prop. So we're going in completely blind. That's fine by us. Yeah, but. And, and look, I mean, they, they claim that they deserve to win something after winning the, the regular season. Mm -hmm. Well, this is, this is massive. The fact that we are coming in blind like this, they've had a whole week to prepare for what they want to get. Right. We had to kind of go in and we got to hopefully, you know, we got the right stats. But you know what? I, I'm ready to go. Okay, like, honestly, we're ready to go. I think I've got all the information I need to make the correct Real, real decisions. quick, if, if I, I could just interject, if I could just yeah. interject, I just want to, you know, really emphasize one thing Al's brother just said. He said, we have the whole week. The difference is the pro athlete team had two weeks because we didn't go on a cruise. We came in and realized, hey, we're down here. We got to make up some ground. So we've been going back and forth, and we spent two weeks. And the reason we didn't give you any heads up is we decided as a team to take the Bill Belichick style of interviewing. I got a couple calls from Al's, bro. Hey, you were trying to, oh, mm -hmm. even with your first question, oh, it's the vibe in Vegas. Yeah, we're sealed over here. We got a lot of ground to make up, and it starts with the first thing, and that's all I'm going to say. We yeah. weren't cruising. All right. We've got two weeks. Going to be a comeback. All right. While you were drinking pina coladas on the cruise ship, we were doing Zoom calls, Al's brother. Uh, all right. All right. Well, we'll see if it turns. We'll see if it works. All right. right. We'll see if it works. Eating for you. patties in Jamaica too, Al's brother. <laughs> I was. I was. I, yeah. I love that. That puts us in the right frame of mind to get things done. All right. So you guys have the option then. You can either play the spread or the total. The spread on Fanduel right now: Niners minus two and a half. The total is forty-seven and a half. You guys get to pick which one you want to play. We will play the opposite or the other one. Uh, which one are you taking, the spread or the total? 
So again, a bit of a disagreement here. I like to be the guy who makes makes the call, but O Dog did bring this up to me, and he is right. We think you guys will do what you've always done. So we're actually going to take the total. Ooh. We're going to take the total, and we're going to take the over. I think it's a safe bet. Again, we'll see how it goes. Where one of those things where both defenses have some issues. I think both coaches are offensive minded guys and they have an extra week to prepare. The total is not astronomically high. Again, I understand why that is because both defenses are very, very good in the same breath. But right now, offensive game, Super Bowl, it's in Las Vegas. Kyle Shanahan, two weeks to prepare. Andy mm-hmm. Reid, two weeks to prepare. I like this thing going to 49, 50 points. Okay. My my instincts originally, I was thinking over Al's brother. You and I, though, eventually we got to a point where we thought 24-21. Yeah. Like, I like the under. under. I think we're okay uh, with that. We're going to take the under anyway. Such a joke, I think man. we're okay wow. with that. I think Spags <laughs> cooks. I think Steve Wilkes will be Spags cooking. Spags cooks. Spags is going to cook up some patties that not even Al's brothers had before. That's we right. cannot wait for that. The this is that the I... real question, though, guys. Mm-hmm. Who? What do you do now? Because... You've gone against Mahomes. I just want to set the stage here. You've gone yeah. against Mahomes. Dude, no, no, wait playoffs. till you hear this. He's Parson. jammed. Yeah. Wait till you hear this. Wait until you hear these bozos. Oh no! Why don't you just come what with the they? heat? Go ahead. Go ahead, Hazy. B. What are they uh, going to do? Well, I and I know where you're going, Luke. We we it's it's very nostalgic right now. <laughs> Dolphins, Kansas City. We like the Dolphins. <laughs> Ravens, Kansas City. We like the Ravens. Here we are, back at square one, but it's a Super Bowl, else, brother. Niners laying two and a half on FanDuel. It's our pick against the Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes. Tremendous information, please. And I think ultimately, I think we just got to stick stick with the process. <laughs> stick with the process and go on our intel that this Chiefs team still struggles when it comes oh to stopping God, the run. Oh, my God, this guy is high on drugs. He's <laughs> high on drugs. They cannot <laughs> stop the run, guys. It's going to be an issue. Christian McCaffrey is going to run all over this team. Okay. The Chiefs allowed the second most <laughs> yards this season against the running zone. They are going to run all over them. I'm telling you, no Charles Omenihu also. They're not going to have a big rotation. They're going to try and, you know, try and get a bunch of smaller guys in there, play a lot of dime packaging. What does that mean? That means that Kittle is going to get a couple pancakes. You're going to see Debo out there. He's going to be knocking guys over. Brandon Ayuk. I love, love, love the Niners. Niners. We're doing wow. it again. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. That's the We're most. We're doing it again. I, uh, that's easy. We've talked about always the dumbest thing that's ever happened on this segment. That that little I, spiel right there, <laughs> to do it a third time, is insanity. Can I ask you a legitimate question, Luke? Why do you like the Chiefs then? So I, I'll answer that in one sec, but I just want to put this on Doogie's radar. If there's any way you can just clip Isles Brothers audio and zoom in on Hayes' face during that whole monologue, <laughs> he looks like he wants to puke. <laughs> yeah. He looks like he wants to puke the whole time. So, no. Al, Al's brother, to answer that question, this is what I will say. You look at the regular season, and that's why the Niners, the Niners have the spread right now. And I, I get that because 10 of their 12 wins by two scores or more. They jumped out on teams super early. They basically suffocated them. And then it's like, we got to somehow keep up with this electric offense that the Niners have. Boom. But what's going on right now and why I would take the Chiefs is, let's take it baseball terms. You just found out that a hitter can't hit a curveball. And now you just keep throwing it and throwing it and throwing it. And and there's a lot of issues here. But besides, I mean, you're a moon, moon phase guy. I don't know if you saw, but the Niners got woken up 6 a.m. today by the fire alarm. So mm-hmm. maybe yeah. they get a little tired. But also... You look at Mahomes right now in this in this offense, they're hot, they're playing well, and I think that part of the reason the Niners have struggled is because the games have been close. And now all of a sudden, their run defense has been awful, awful. And, and I'm sitting here, I'm like, where? what happened during the year? And I think part of it was that the Niners would jump out on teams so early, be up two scores, the teams would start to, quote-unquote, abandon the run game. So why I like the Chiefs, and I do think it'll be tight, I want to say this right now, but I also look at coaching, okay? And I'm going to call Andy Reid and Kyle Shanahan two of the best guys offensively. Mm-hmm. So, boom, let's call that a wash. But then you got two weeks to prepare. Who would you rather side with? Steve Spagnolo, who is the D coordinator that stopped the infamous 16-0 and Patriots, okay? Or mm-hmm. 
Steve Wilkes, who at one point was in the box, now was on the sideline. Last week looked like Kyle Shanahan was irate with the guy. So I'm giving the edge to Kansas City. You got Patrick Mahomes. He's managed to absolutely dominate Miami. They went toe-to-toe with Buffalo, found a way to get it done there, and looked good doing it, and then surgically dominated dominated the Ravens. And you're telling me they can't finish it off with a team that should have lost to Green Bay and should have lost to Detroit? I don't know why everyone keeps saying that they surgically dominated the Ravens. They scored touchdowns on their first two possessions and got three points after that, and they had four three and outs in the second half. What domination is that? Honestly. Yeah, well, I mean, they won the game. What and they... domination? Did you watch the game? What did the Ravens do? Lamar Jackson, the league MVP. It's not yeah, just, <laughs> it's not just Patrick hammock. Mahomes. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I get that, but I'm, I, I think that the Niners' offense will be able to move the ball. And again, okay. for the life of me, I don't understand why the Ravens abandoned the All run right, game. That's the gone. Ball. That's gone. Are we sticking with the process, so else, brother? Just, oh, this is your leader I just trying say to this, talk Hayes. you out of yeah, it Yeah, go right ahead, now. Luke. Yeah. Go ahead, Luke. This could be right off the bat. We're down four. This has got the makings of, of being down two, and we haven't even named a prop yet. Hayes, right now, you got an opportunity Okay, you could be Dan Quinn. You can walk over to Kyle Shanahan when you're down 28 to 3 and say, let's get this thing back on track. We need a couple first downs. You can't choke this one away, Hayes. I'm telling you, as your friend, I if you do, no. if you let this go down like this and choke it away, you'll never everybody in the entire country will see you and say you're a fraud. I'm giving well, you a shot. Do right anyway. now. That's, that's happening <laughs> anyway. Exactly. The only way I can, actually, you know what? I'm go glad you brought the that top. up. No, the way I spin out of that is by trusting the process. It's by trusting the process. I'm going. Wow. I am. I'm. You forget Dan Quinn. I'm Dan Campbell, man. It is four and two. We've That's been right. doing it all year, fourth and we're going to keep doing it. Fourth and five. It doesn't matter. We're going for it on fourth down. Lock it in. Niners minus two and a half. Yes. Brock Purdy. Oh, Brock man. Purdy crushes. Oh, man. All right. Brock Purdy. Moving on. Moving on. Patrick Mahomes over under 262.5 passing yards or Brock Purdy over under 246.5 passing yards. Which one do you want to play? We're taking Purdy. We're taking Purdy on this. Okay. And we're going over. Ooh. We're going over because they're going to be down. And late in the game, There, he's going to have to throw. So, again, this is going to be a sweat for us. But late in the game, I think they're down. I think they're down, you know, 10 points. Purdy's sitting at 210. They get the ball back with three minutes. It's a two-minute drive. And I think he hits it then. The next thing, and I, actually, I'm going to stop there. I almost right. answered why we didn't take Mahomes, but I'm going to okay. let you guys go. I'm going to stop there. <laughs> All right, so you guys are on Purdy over 246.5 passing yards on FanDuel. Al's brother, we're on Mahomes. Do we like the over or the under 262.5? I, it may sound blasphemous, and I, I feel like I, I'm coming across as a massive Mahomes and Chiefs under. hater. He's taking the under. On I think I'm leaning the under. <laughs> towards the under. <laughs> but what's the gut oh, instinct yeah, say? Yeah, baby. Oh, what's the man. gut say on this one? Well, the gut says if we're already betting against them to begin with, we might as well hammer the guy. <laughs> yeah. Like, honestly, it's, it's, but I see it kind of the same way that Luke hammer just said. Hammer the guy. But I could see it like five years ago. The Chiefs are actually down 10 going into a fourth quarter, and then he's got a chuck. You know, and then then the line starts step. But I think Pacheco's going to factor in. Kittle's going to – they don't have a lot of deep threats. Valdez, Scantling. Uh, he's going to drop three balls, and yeah. they're not going to even throw them again. I, uh, that's uh, the thing. A lot of stuff underneath. I, I could see him ending – I could see him around 250 by the end of the game. Yeah, I think so, too. I think the line's just a little high. He hasn't okay. hit this in five straight games. It's not like he's out there throwing for 300 yards right, right. now, and it's because – the running game has become a much bigger factor into this offense. They are averaging like 21 rushing attempts per game through the playoffs. Mm -hmm. That's taking away from the opportunity to pass the ball. So I think uh, it went 13-7 and to the under at that number this year. I think we... Stick with the under, the the process? Yeah. Lock it in. Under the number, Patrick. Oh, my goodness. Under the number. Guys, (laughs) you've had two picks, and you've done both of them against Patrick Mahomes. Both of them. Yeah, I mean, this is... He's the best football player on planet Earth right now at this very moment. I just am putting this out there to let you guys know. I'm sitting in Las Vegas. I can see the sphere. We are in the entertainment city of the world. The best football player in the world is here to play a Super Bowl. And you two guys sitting in Toronto, Ontario, are saying mm-hmm. he's going to play like trash. That's yeah. what I'm hearing. Hey, he could have a good game. He could throw for 250 yards, but it may not go for over 260. <laughs> That's right. That's all I'm saying. And listen, I think Nick Bosa, is re- he's been chomping at the bit for five years. Oh, yeah. Five years, and I think that pass rush is going to be all over Mahomes. 
All right, McCaffrey and Pacheco. We're playing running backs next. Over under 89.5 rushing yards for Christian McCaffrey on FanDuel. Isaiah Pacheco over under 67.5 rushing yards over under. Who do you want, McCaffrey or Pacheco? They're going to take Pacheco because they're Pacheco, gutless. Pacheco, yeah. gutless. 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 Pacheco, Pacheco, Pacheco all day. Of course, so, I mean, guys, you're you're playing right in my favor. And we're taking the over. Yeah, we're taking the Pacheco over because, like we said, the script is he'll be up. So Pacheco will have 50 yards. He'll sit there. There'll be eight minutes left in the game, and I'll be texting O-Dog, say, tune into this drive. Boom, nine-yarder. <laughs> boom, nine-yarder. And next thing you know, we hit the over. See you later. I yeah. mean, it's it's simple stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't blame you. I, that's We were both on the same page. We were taking the we were yeah. like Pacheco over all day. That seems like a lock. I hate the McCaffrey. <laughs> I, in a blender. I, 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 I'm in a blender now because this is the one we were stuck on. We hate the McCaffrey prop because so I could much. see him. I could see him with two touchdowns, 80 yards rushing, 50 yards receiving. You know, I, I think we're anyway. You, what do you? Where are you at? I got a vibe on this too. The, the line is actually moving down. I think it opened at like 91 and a half on Fanduel. McCaffrey, 89 and a half rushing yards. So we have an opportunity here where this is this is a spot where we could almost hedge. Yeah. We could almost hedge with this one because I, I do think that if the Niners do win this football game, <laughs> it's going to be because Christian McCaffrey runs all over the place and he runs for over 90 yards. I, I think that's got to be the, the, the game plan here for the Niners. But if they don't, it's because McCaffrey didn't do that and he got stopped by the Chiefs. So we could hedge. Yeah, and but, we could go with the. But the under. thing is, you, a lot of your tremendous information is based you on the run game. Oh, this is I like know. a professional show. <laughs> yeah. This is a professional talking, show. We're <laughs> hedging. And we're this just, guy like, wheels off a cruise and is making the other guy <laughs> nod on a professional <laughs> sports show. It's insane. All right. We go all in on the Niners. Let's go all in. Let's go all in on the Niners. <laughs> you know why? Wow. You know why? Because he's actually gone over this number in seven of his last eight games. That's and right. This is the most successful zone run team in the NFL taking on a team that ranked 31st in zone run defense in the Kansas City Chiefs. And for that reason, Christian McCaffrey is going to run over his butt off in this football game. Probably 90 plus, Will, yep. I would say. Uh, all right. Let's go with the over. Let's go with the over. McCaffrey, lock it in over the number. I love it. I, I think we are cruising right now. We're 3-0. <laughs> and uh, All right. Kelsey and Kittle time. Travis Kelsey over under 72 and a half receiving yards. George Kittle over under three and a half receptions. We're mixing a reception prop in here. So you can go yards with Kelsey or receptions with Kittle. Who do you like? Oh, and I'm going to tell you right now, but I'm going to go right on what the script is and put you guys in the tough situation. Mm, so yes. we're going to take Kittle because like we've talked about, what's the situation going to be? These guys going to be down. We're riding with Mahomes. Kittle goes over that number again. So after Pacheco, I'm just going to paint it out for my parts here right now, O'Dog. Mm. Pacheco had that drive I was just talking about where he ripped off two nine-yarders and we hit that over. And now we're like, uh-oh, Kittle's only gotten two catches and there's four minutes left in the game. I'm going to hit you with, hey, check this out. Kittle's getting two right here. Boom, first play of the two-minute drive because they're down 10. Five-yard stick route. <clears throat> okay, third play of the two-minute drive. Five-yard stick route. Oh, there goes the <laughs> over. We got Kittle on the over all day. Four all right. catches plus yeah. in the zone running game that I do think they will attempt. You know who? what's going to happen? Play action. It's Kyle Shanahan. Play action. You got your tight end front side and or back side. He's going to get four catches. Thank you for actually not picking his yards because it could be short, could be long, doesn't matter. He's snagging four. Another point for Team Owen Wilson. Oh, and by the way, I just want to let you know this. Make sure you pick on the other side correctly with Kelsey because if you pick his over, you're also on Patrick Mahomes is under. So it might not it'd be a weird situation, but make your pick. Yeah, this is kind of – we're getting put in a weird spot here with it's, all these different picks. It's nonsense. They end up with the two layups. Those are the two big yeah. – you have Pacheco over Pacheco rushing and, and then over three and a half for Lock. Kittle. Free money on FanDuel. Both. FanDuel's just oh. saying, please, here, take it. And these guys naturally – anyway, it doesn't okay. matter. The Adversity. Doogie, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Adversity, exactly. That's why we're playoff performers. That's why we bring the heat. Here we go. Travis Kelsey over under 72 and a half receiving yards. Slam dunk in my mind. I it's over. Yeah. yeah, we're going he over. He goes number. over exactly. exactly. Mahomes hits two fifty, and eighty of them are to Kelsey. He's had seventy five plus oh. reception uh, yards in eleven of his last twelve playoff games. He's a playoff performer. 
That's what he is. Doesn't necessarily mean that Mahomes has to go off for 350 yards. Mahomes could throw for 225, and 80 of them go to Travis Kelsey. Look at the game in Baltimore. He had exactly. like 10 receptions and whatever, 100 and something yards. And, exactly. And Mahomes, I think, was under 260. He's got two. He's got two guys to really throw to. Yeah. Ultimately, Rasheed Rice, which we'll get to in a sec, and Travis Kelsey. So ultimately, I think that Kelsey's going to get fed quite a bit in this game. And you look at last week, Sam Laporta, two weeks ago, Laporta did fairly well against yep. this Niners secondary. So I think Kelsey probably will go over the number. Okay. Well. All right. Well, here we go. We're off to the wide receivers. Debo Samuel over under 58.5 receiving yards on FanDuel or Rasheed <clears> Rice <throat> over under six and a half receptions on FanDuel. Who are you guys taking and why? Well, I, I just want to real quick, and I'll explain yep. this, but I, I got to go into a small story. As a kid, I have a very close friend of mine. His name is Nick. And Nick is a big Steelers fan. He's a big football guy. I played ball with him in high school. He's a university ball player. He had Heinz Ward's glove in his room, but six terrible <laughs> towels. This guy lives, breathes football. Okay, he knows his stuff. Nick just shot me a text and said, man, this stuff with Hayes and Al's bro is sickening. What are these guys talking about? I mean, tell Nick, tell Nick to put the cigarette out. Ward's glow. Yeah. Tell yeah. Nick sickening to put the cigarette out. Word. Sickening is a great word. Yeah. yeah. Great word. Oh. Get, anyways. But anyways, awesome. we're going to go with Debo. Okay. All right. Over under we're Debo. Go what does Nick Debo. think? Okay. What do you, what, who are you taking? I mean, over or the under? It doesn't matter. What, it doesn't, we're taking the over. Again. Okay. Debo, they're going to be down. They got to throw the ball. We've got Purdy. We've got we've got Debo. This is the script right here. Mm. McCaffrey's going to go under. You're. Gonna, I'm talking clean sweep here. And yeah. to be honest with you, I kind of want to see what you guys do with Rasheed Rice because I'm assuming that you've taken the Kelsey over, but the Mahomes under. That you've got to take Rasheed's under. So it'll be very yeah. interesting here. And but we're taking Debo's over. I think he's early right. active, and I think he he has a nice game. See, the beauty of this is that these guys, they, they have they have imagined this game going only one way. Yes. Right? It's yes. it's basically Chiefs 34, 31, everyone parties, everyone has a great time. If it's like 10, 7 at the half, it's over. It's Vince Carter in 2000. Well, especially it's when it's over. over. You look at the Chiefs in their second half offense, that's been a big concern all season Agreed, long. Agreed. They average six points in the second half. Yep, you're right. All right, it's so we're absurd. on Rasheed Rice. Over, under, six and a half receptions. Yeah, yeah, this is a good line too, and and it's kind of a toughie because that that's a lot of that's, <laughs> that's a, lot a lot of receptions for a but young guy without Super Bowl. It you know. is, but he's a guy who has become next to Kelsey the really only other option for Patrick Mahomes. And if you look at the last nine weeks where Rasheed Rice really came on, he's caught over six and a half catches, seven plus in seven of those games. You look at the 49ers defense, they do give up a lot of completions, not necessarily a crazy amount of yards, but they do give up a lot of completions. So I can see Rasheed Rice, you know, kind of little dink and dunk stuff here in the mm -hmm. slot and picking up and seven, dunk. eight receptions okay. and going over and the number. Dunk. So we like the over on Rasheed Rice. <laughs> dink and dunk. What? Yeah, I, I agree with Explain to me this, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Explain to me how you've just came on this show and you've taken Mahomes' is under in yards and then no. you took Travis Kelsey's over in yards, then you took Rasheed Rice's over in catches. Can you explain to me how this is a thing? Oh, well, easy. Again, because they have two options outside of Pacheco. It's effectively going to Kelsey or Rice, and as Al's brother just said, the Niners, I think, are going to do everything they can to keep the ball in front of them, and Mahomes is going to move the ball around. There'll be a lot of screens. There'll be a lot of checkdowns, and ultimately someone's got to catch the ball. It's not like Mahomes isn't going to go off for receptions and going to get the ball in the hands of his receivers. Again, I, I think Mahomes could have 25, 26 re completions and 250 yards, right? Yeah. Like I could totally see that being the case. 100%. It's not like we're saying he's going to finish with 180 yards in the air, but he's <clears throat> just got to stay under 262 and a half. And that's very possible. Like I said, he's done this in five straight football games. Right. They've won all of those games. Yeah. They don't, he doesn't have to throw for 300 yards for them to win because – Pacheco has become a much bigger part of this offense. I love it. So I, I, I still love think it. it's possible. I just love kinda, where we're at. Those three players, that's all they really, th that offense is. So you take overs on those three players, I think you're good regardless of how the total right. or the end of this game happens. All right, final one here. Okay, this is pretty there greasy. <laughs> this is really greasy. The coin toss 
And then the length of the national anthem, and currently on FanDuel, the national anthem is at 89.5 seconds. So do you guys want to do the coin toss, or do you guys want to do the anthem? I personally want to do the anthem, but the rumor is that our team president, Rod Smith, is a big Tails Never Fails guy. So, okay. O-Dog, I'm oh. not sure if we go to Tails Never Fails. Or, he spoke up and I'm said, not, this is the one he's up. putting his name on, so let him do whatever he's going to do, Lukey. <laughs> this is Rod's <laughs> statement? Okay. Rod's making a statement. This he is wants his Tails. Move. Rod's right. statement is Tails Never Fails, so we're riding with Tails. Want to test I, it out? I got a coin. Should yeah. we test that out right give now? Us a, give us a, a precursor. Uh-oh. On the ground. Oh, leave it, Alice, brother. Oh, no. We'll never see you oh, again. No. It was a heads. <laughs> it was a heads. All right. yeah, heads it is. That, it was a heads. Gone. That's a good start for us. Go I'll, win Wilson. I'll be standing up for that coin toss. Like, what a start, <laughs> man. If you start off heads, point let's right go. Out the top. All right, that means we're on the na- national anthem. 89.5 <laughs> seconds. Reba McIntyre is famous for quick oh, anthems. Yeah. Quick anthems. In and out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> In and out. Let's hammer the under here. I, th- this, okay, this is truly the layup of the entire segment. Yes. Reba McIntyre is going way under 89 yeah. and a half Alice seconds. Brother, what the hell are you talking about? She'll be what on knowledge fast forward. do you have? She'll be on what? fast forward. She wants to get out of there. Listen, listen, Vegas. listen. Oh, yeah. Some people, you guys thought I was doing nothing on my cruise. I was grinding tape looking for every single time Reba McIntyre sang the national anthem live on television, and I found six nothing. times, okay? 72 seconds. 77 seconds, 80 seconds, 65, 82, 85, and 78 seconds. I love it. If you the will queen. notice, every single one of those was <laughs> under 89 and a half and it averaged for 77 seconds. That gives us a 13 second buffer. This is a guaranteed lock, fellas. You're Point a joke. for You're Albert. A joke, Locking You're in a joke. for Hazen Bro. Wow. The Hazen Bro. What a start, man. It's going to come up heads, and she's going to be in and out of there before even the mic's turn. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. It'll be on fast forward. You won't even be able to understand the lyrics. Like, we're going to start 2-0, and oh, and then it's just cruise control after that. All right. There you go. The picks are in. I hope you guys are happy with yourselves. You guys had a massive advantage, Luke. Like, you can face facts on that. I know you guys are just... Hmm weaseling out in the playoffs in terms this of actually This is just the performing. whole thing. Like, yeah, know, we had our deal in the regular season. You guys had your 10-day little, you know, successful streak. The Super Bowl is everything for this segment, too. Whoever right. comes out on top, bragging rights. And the other two guys have to say, our team is garbage and we're both frauds. They have to say it on this show. All right. You guys will agree to that, too? <laughs> yes. Okay. Handshake of, <laughs> of course. Uh, there you go. A lot of respect in the handshake line. I like it. What a All loser's right. mentality. Lock it in. <laughs> loser's mentality. It is. It is. We're I pro athletes, Al's brother. We're pro athletes. I would, yes. And I would like a quick update, Hey, So when when Tails hits and Rod Smith has his big smile on his face and then Reba decides to just hit the Conor McGregor walk out there and just mm. sing as long as she possibly can, and the first play of the game is a 75-yard touchdown thrown to, like, MBS, who is not anyone's prop, Mm-hmm. I just want to update on the underpants, and I want to tweet it okay. specifically from both of you. Like, uh-oh, this could be a complete sweep, one of the biggest beatdowns <laughs> in the history of Overdrive and FanDuel. All just right. saying. We wow. will. We will. Yeah. Listen, we're I, we're comfortable in our own underpants. I feel right? great about it. I'll say this. <laughs> you guys, it's either going to be hero or zero, though, because all of your picks lined up pretty And that's you guys had the opportunity to do yeah, that gutless. by making all the selections. But you pretty much lined up a good script with everything, and you've got a uh, basically a parlay. You're going to go either all or yeah, nothing. It's, it's a, if it's a high-scoring game and the Chiefs win, yeah, that could be trouble for us. But if it's low-scoring and Reba's in and out quick. <laughs> Which I see it, man. I see The whole team's going to run the rock, limit possessions, it. keep offenses off the field as much as they can. That's right. Low-scoring. All right. That's how I see it. There you go. It's all up there on FanDuel. You can uh, take it from there. We'll see what happens. And, and again, we've been asking people, again, to tell us on Twitter, on text, and we're giving away a $250 uh, gift card to NFL Canada gift shop and tickets to the home opener for the Bills next year. Oh, sick. Yeah, so, wow. Yes, That's exactly. Amazing. Text your name and either Hayes or O-Dog to 105050. Who are you tailing? You have up until 1 p.m. Super Bowl Sunday to make your pick. So now it's in. 
Right? Hayes and Bro, we're on the Niners. Owen Wilson, they're on the Chiefs. Yeah. Do what you got to do. Love All it. right, Luke. Enjoy yourself out there, buddy. We'll do it again soon. Cheers. There he is, Luke Wilson, pro athlete. Salute. I see noodles up there. <laughs> I gave I a see, little. I see, I see, I see, I a pro athlete. Pro athlete. Pro athlete. You're not allowed to do it. You two stiffs aren't no, allowed to I, do it. Honestly, I look I, just one more time. What did your buddy call Al's brother's comments? Disgusting. <laughs> Sickening. Sickening. Oh. Sickening. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna Sickening. cheers with two two beef patties on Monday, Al's brother. Yeah, we are. I'll bring them in. <laughs> I will bring them in. I love it. We'll have All a right. nice charcuterie <laughs> meal to yes. celebrate on Monday. I can't wait. Looking All right, picks it. are in. Track it online. Track it on FanDuel. Overdrive continues. TSN 1050 and on TSN 2. All right, the Leafs lineup. Giving away tickets to see the Leafs Flyers game February 15th. Plus, throwing in a $250 Vanilla Visa prepaid card with each pair of tickets to make it the ultimate game night. Vanilla Visa prepaid cards are available for purchase at Petro Canada. Today's player of the day is our boy, James Van Riemsdyk. JVR. I love it. Yes. Phone lines are open. 416-870-1050. 416-870-1050. First caller through can name each player in this week's lineup. Again, is going to see Leafs Flyers. JVR is your final player of the day. Just want to fire up a couple of quick Dear Hazy Bees? Yes, but before let's do that, it. I would just like to read one text from a colleague of ours, Mark Rowe. I didn't want to name names, but I decided to go for it. Wow. I don't care who wins on Sunday. Just want Team Owen Wilson to claim a belt that's already rightfully theirs. Thank oh, you is for that being right? Honest. Thank you for being honest, Mark. Well, that's shameful. I, I expected more from the face of. The U.S. Open. Tennis and yeah. Yeah, I mean, come on. This guy's sitting courtside with Bianca Andreescu after she wins the U.S. Open, and that's his attitude towards something this professional. That uh, that hurts me. That's yeah, that's very disappointing. Why, uh, I don't know why he'd fire that. There might be that might be fabricated. Yeah, that could be, be like fake a, news. That could be like could LeBron be earlier. Oh, people are saying. Who's saying that? <laughs> no one's saying that. Anyway. Yeah. Right. Insight. The ability to see and understand why you do the things you do. Dear Hazy B. We're going to go down there and have a donkey barbecue and I'm going to furnish the ass, right? You don't want to hide a Mars bar in your sleeping bag when there's a bear outside the tent. You guys know the deal. We help people. Yeah. I've had tons of messages, emails saying thank you for the advice. Mm -hmm. This one goes to a place that I don't know if we're comfortable with or has expertise, but we have to help the guy. Dear Hazy B, my good buddy has a gig as a clown for adult parties. He goes by Rodney. Rodney the Clown. Okay. He approached me the other day asking for help. He got hired for a divorce party happening next weekend, but he can't make it because he double booked himself. Typical Rodney. He's asked if I can sub in for him next weekend, and he'll split the earnings with me 50-50. <laughs> Now, for context, Rodney and I have similar builds, and if I put on a little face paint, you really can't tell the difference. Money's tight, too, and I could use the extra cash, but I don't know. It just feels kind of dirty. So should I do it? Should I flaunt my body amongst a bunch of middle-aged divorcees, or should I maintain a little bit of dignity and keep my shirt on at home? So wait a minute. Wow. Is this guy like a clown stripper? Yeah. like, like is, this, is this like women that are hiring Rodney the Clown? I don't know, but why would you pick your go-to outfit for gear as a clown? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, why I not don't... a Patrick Swayze? Or... <laughs> right, exactly. Like creepy, creepy clown or what? Like, I don't know. Sexy I, dude, clown. I'm Maybe it's a sexy clown. We're not going to get into sexy the clown. details. I but see. this guy, sexy clown? A sexy <laughs> clown. Maybe that's what Rodney's... Hey, listen, if he's getting double booked, he must be good at what he does. I couldn't imagine a more ridiculous idea than hiring an adult clown... <laughs> At a divorce party, but I well, guess he's a stripper. Then he's a stripper. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's got to be. There's no way this guy. That that's a pseudonym for. He's basically saying he's a stripper. Rodney's yeah, not a clown. Life. He's a peel. Oh, he is a clown. Yeah, yeah, he is a clown. What was I his guess. name again? Rodney. Rodney. Rodney the stripper clown. All right. That, I'm saying you. you, you I think I say give it a shot. Yeah, give it a shot. Why not? Cash is king. Give it yeah. a shot. Why All not? Right, Who cares? Go go be a clown for a night. See what go happens. Go be Rodney the Clown and see what happens. <laughs> Dear Hazy B, won a golf weekend for four at Kiowa, the ocean course, Unreal. and others on the island in April. 
One of the regulars in our weekly foursome has recently began horrendously flooring it on these trips Mm -hmm. to the point it's a borderline crime against humanity to deal with in public. However, the others in our group are bad at golf. Do I invite the good golfer who might go off the rails and risk being a menace to society? Or do I bring a friend who will be lucky to shoot 110 on these courses, which will jam up the course for our group and folks behind us. No, you, this course is so good. I've played Kiowa. Yeah. It's it's one of the probably 20 or 30 best courses in the U.S. It is a player's golf course, but it's a serious time. You're there to golf. Like, I know that's going to sound ridiculous. And I've, I know, but I've, what do you want to put up with? A guy who's who's just crushed on the fifth hole or no. a guy that's shooting 300? I'd rather a guy that shoots yeah. 300. I would. Cause what? That, I would. I would because that guy, at least you know, will be predictable and make the tee time for starters, won't be a drag, won't be hungover, won't be like if there are certain trips where it's a boys trip and it's like the golf is secondary. Like you're there yeah. to golf, but not really. You're there to yeah, have a good time. Yeah, you're hungover. Yeah, exactly. you go to Kiowa, you're there to play golf. That's why you're going to Kiowa. Like it, you're, it's, it, there, there are a few places like Cabot, like Bandon Dunes, like Pinehurst, like Kiowa, Hilton Head. It's like you go and it's you are going to play golf. You're not going to Myrtle Beach and playing you know, goat tracks. Yeah, Rodney the Clown golf links. <laughs> like it's. I think if we're going to take that seriously and maybe answer it next Friday, I we got to get this listing to see if it's legit. Like yeah, Rodney the Clown party booking, or else we're not dealing with it. Right. Yeah, I'm not. But I'm taking the guy that can golf. I don't care. And you just say to him, listen. You keep it on even keel until 15, and then you can just put the pedal down and floor it and bring it home mm-hmm. on a high note. Keep it straight until 15 and then absolutely gas it. Hide beers in your bag. Yeah. I've had that happen before, by the way. That's embarrassing. You get buddies that start rifling beers in their bags and you get checked by security. Oh, I know. Especially at a place like Dude, some guy, some guy with a pro barrel and a mustache is unzipping golf bags looking for (laughs) booze and they find it and it's embarrassing. Yeah. It's really yeah, embarrassing. You can't have that. No, it's re- it's <laughs> really embarrassing. It is grown men with good jobs and stuff. That is embarrassing. Yeah. One last quick one. Yeah, quick one. Yeah. Dear Hazy B, hosting a Super Bowl party with my friends. Everyone chips in to bring food or drinks except Bobby. Bobby shows up every year with a six pack and a Mickey. Crushes the six pack before halftime. Does not offer anything up to the table. Invite back or no? I don't know. Noodles. Yeah, noodles. What do you make of that? I don't know. I mean, if everyone's bringing yeah. a cheese tray yeah. and, and sliders and other things in this creep, a six pack doing... and a Mickey. Like, what yeah. are you in grade eight, grade well, nine? It, it is a six pack have one missing because he's like, you know, like the I don't. That's Mickey what you have before aggressive. you go. Yeah. That's a that's an appy. Uh, I, I guess. don't know. <laughs> Rodney the clown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, I don't see, know. I gotta Rodney. see Rodney the Clown too. I, I'm like I'm envisioning Rodney the Clown. Let's bring him into the like studio that. and watch his routine. Well, and, but, uh, yeah, unless it's again a routine that cannot be brought into exactly. you know, a, a corporate a situation. The, the yeah, but if it's just like sky. a dance routine, <laughs> Patrick Swayze with a big colorful wig on, I don't. Yeah, know. But, <laughs> that would be pretty what funny. What is this guy doing? <laughs> do, you remember, do you remember? Patrick Swayze and Chris Farley. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's Chip what I imagine. I imagine Rodney is some kind of hybrid between Farley and Swayze. Yeah, with a clown yeah. nose and face paint. <laughs> and, a and a big, and giant, a wig. colorful wig. <laughs> I say up. Super Bowl party, just the more the merrier. Why not? Yeah, you know, get the guy him. in there. Yeah, whatever. All right. Invite him, but he better Bobby. get his act together. Yeah, smarten up, Bobby. Like, yeah. come on, bring a, bring a, grab a bag of chips. Yeah. Like who brings a Mickey too? Bring forty eight <laughs> on ice and two extra large pizzas like a normal human exactly. being. Exactly, yeah. exactly. All right, there you go, dear Hazy B. Condensed, <laughs> but important stuff because we're here to help yeah, people. Because we got Rodney the Clown in order. Rodney and you, the Clown, and What's we want to see the there? listing, or it's not real. Uh, you're, tell you're you lying what, to us. Yeah, you better watch it. Like if it, it, we're all married, if there's a Google search history and. Rodney the Clown's been searched. We better watch oh ourselves, God. man. Yeah. Rodney the Clown is not something you want on your <laughs> radar. Um, all right, best bets coming up. Overdrive continues, TSN 1050 and on TSN 2. All right, best bets brought to you by FanDuel. Brock Purdy over 12 and a half rushing yards 
Like that, he's going to break loose a couple times. We saw what he did in the second half against Detroit. I think it happens again at the Super Bowl. Justin Watson, this is a spicy one, under one and a half receptions. I think he's got one reception in each of the last three games. He's only been targeted five times. He's a name that people are aware of. Andy Reid doesn't use him. So under the number and under in the points, 47 and a half points. That's what Al's brother and I were on earlier today. We're going to remain on that going into the weekend. Those are your best bets. And uh, as we know, Melon and Friday is brought to you by Boston Pizza, Canada's favorite sports bar from touchdowns to tie bites and puck drops to pizza. BP's elite lineup of apps, wings, and ice cold beers always dialed in for game time. Hustle into your local BP tonight. We say it all the time, but this weekend, the Super Bowl made for Boston Pizza. Yes. Um, you know, down on front, wherever it is, anywhere in the country. Anywhere in the country. Um, Boston Pizza, the place to be this weekend. So... I look forward to that. I intend on bringing my kids there, I think, this weekend myself. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Is your buddy, your neighbor, uh, are you going to watch the Super Bowl in his garage, aren't you, with that guy? Uh, last year they came by our place. I don't know what our plan is quite yet. Like that that might be the – our place is a, not exactly in tip-top shape right now. The kids have absolutely destroyed the basement, so we got to get that oh. thing figured out. People are sending me pictures of my face mocked on a clown. I don't need that. <laughs> I don't need. I don't need that. All right. The fraudulent stuff is one thing. Rodney the clown. Keep that I somewhere that. else. Rodney right? the clown. Rodney the clown. <laughs> Not even trying. Like what kind of name is Rodney the clown? But uh, there you go. All right. Love it. Well, okay. It's, a good week. it's been a good at, week. And you know what? Lots to talk about on Monday. You sure know, is. Super Bowl. Always Leafs, fun. Leafs Ottawa. That'll be a good game. Absolutely. You got the Battle of Ontario tomorrow night. You got the Super Bowl on Sunday. Fred Van Vliet not playing tonight, but he's back here. You got yeah. some, you know, the new additions for the Raptors. We're going to see them play this weekend. So we'll see what comes of it. Pitchers and catchers coming up soon. It's going to be a good one next week. Thanks to everyone yeah. behind the scenes for helping out. We appreciate it. Everyone for tuning in. TV, radio, web. We appreciate that. Or podcasts, for that matter. We really appreciate that. We're out of here. Enjoy your evenings. Enjoy your weekends. We're back Monday at... Finkel is Einhorn, and Rodney the Clown is Al's brother. (laughs) 4 (laughs) p.m. We'll chat then.